What's going on out there, YouTube family? This is a collaboration between the Three Black Geeks and Team JVS to provide you guys with an authentic and quick review for the Paper Tigers. Just to let you guys know, at the end of this video, there will be a giveaway. We're giving away two copies for both outlets, and we want you guys to participate. All you got to do is just leave a certain comment, which we'll talk about towards the end of this review, and you enter in a chance to win your own very own copy of Paper Tigers. What's going on, Eric? Not much, man. Uh, how'd you feel about this movie? I really enjoyed it, dude. <laughs> I, 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 it had some, um, it had some vets in there. Like it had some people. I was like, oh, yo, you from the Karate Kid? Oh, yo, yeah. I remember you from over here. I'm like, oh, yo, you, you're in everything, you know. And it's kind of like uh, just a brief synopsis of it. You got three kung fu martial arts prodigies that have grown up into washed up age middle age men that are now on the kick away from pulling their hamstrings but when their master is murdered they must juggle their dead end jobs dad duties and old grudges to avenge his death so it, i think one of the things that set this movie off for me was the opening montage Mm -hmm. Watching them, you know, at a at a very young age, kind of be like the old paper tigers. I was kind of like, yo, what what in the world is this? And then I started seeing them kind of train and starting to see what they were capable of. And I was like, yo, they the truth, bro. Like they were sitting there doing stuff. I was like, is this based on a true story? Like, is this like where is this coming from? And uh I just kind of was really engaged by the camaraderie and their capability, but at the same time, they had like an edge to them. And I was kind of like, okay, where is this going to, you know, present day where you see them like middle-aged men barely able to move. One of them is kind of like his knees all jacked up. The other one hasn't yep. fought in like 30 years. Um, I really enjoyed this film. Like I was really surprised how much I enjoyed, not just the martial arts side of it, but I think the appeal as a person that's now in his 30s, and knowing like 40s is coming, 50s is coming, what does that mean to be who you used to be and who you are now? What, what, at what point does that transition, you know? Uh, I would say, obviously, these guys have not been uh, reading from the book of Jackie Chan because <laughs> that man, that man Jackie was what, in his 60s? And he did a movie like The Foreigner? True. True, you know, yeah, the foreigner was the truth, too. He killed it in the foreigner, you know what I'm bro. saying? Like, when you get to me, he I would say Jackie was one of those guys that I would look at and say, you know, F aging, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, true. like true. age ain't nothing as long as you keep yourself right over the years, you, you'll you be good. And yeah. obviously, obviously, these guys did not take that note in this movie because my favorite <laughs> part was when they were trying to fight those young guys. In, uh, in that, <laughs> they're trying to fight those young guys in that room, right? And Bruh. all three of them failed miserably. Yes, these guys here, <laughs> dude. Them young guys broke the brakes on them. Like one of the dudes straight up did like a cartwheel backflip. Yep. And like you know, our main guy, he's supposed to be like got this good breathing technique. He's like he's unbeatable. Nobody's ever beaten him before. Man, he got put they, down so quick. They are all three of them got washed. <laughs> They did. They did. Even the black dude, because I was Even like, the black dude is like, he like he's in shape. He like he's, he's good. I oh, can't man. remember how he lost, but he, he lost. <laughs> like all three of them took like the worst L. Right. Right. And I think one of the things I'll say about this is that even though yeah, in this they play <clears throat> guys that are old and watch up, you can tell these guys know what they're doing. They've been around a little ways of knowing martial arts, or at least have practiced, or at least you know, uh, understand the ethics behind what they're trying to do as far as the craft. Every mm -hmm. single one of the main three actors. And I feel like there's a level of dedication there that I can feel that because they did all these their own stunts. It wasn't like you yeah. saw any stunt that was like, no, everybody was doing it themselves. And I think I, I felt like levels of appreciation, even to the guy that um, was the guy that they were Millie Whopping in the beginning and yeah. opening credits. And he came back, this is cut, knowing every form of martial arts there was. And and as you can see right here, he was just giving them such a hard time. But it was fun. It was really fun. I also want to give a shout out to uh, to the cinematographer, uh, Sean Mayer. He did good. I really like the way this yeah. movie was shot. Yeah. Yeah. It was some really good shots, actually. Because uh, what was that one scene at the very end, the end battle scene? 
I was kind of like, oh man, this is going to be too hard to see. You're not going to be able to see a good amount of the rhythm and fighting. They're going to try to brush it through. No, they let you see every single punch, like yep. every single moment where the main character is getting hurt or main character looks like his life is in danger. And that's the other thing. There's death in this. Like people yep. are dying. Like it's, there's, a, there's a straight up character in this that you might as well call him an assassin, a black assassin. And he was menacing. He was threatening. I was kind of like, y'all don't have a chance. I think what happened was uh, they had tried to trick him in throwing his bike down. Mm. And he just picked the bike up like it wasn't nothing and then proceeded to just go off. And they were like, yeah, I don't know if we can beat this guy. <laughs> but yeah. I'm like, really? What was your first clue? <laughs> At what point, you know, a great a great man, sorry, a great turtle once said, "At what point did you all lose control here?" <laughs> right, right, and it's kind of like you you knew for a fact that you know from this where they are right here, you know, this is really weird, dude. Really light skin, right? And then turn really dark skin. That is hilarious. I, I always <laughs> I always laugh when they do stuff like this in movies. Like you get a dark skin character, and then the so then anytime you gotta do a flashback scene, and like when they they show what they look like when they were younger, for some reason they're light skinned, <laughs> which is hilarious. This is like, bro, y'all couldn't have got like a different, like younger actor, but wh whatever. It's, that's neither here nor there. But in terms of context, you know, even just watching them in this scene, not understanding, you know, certain things and practices, I was like, oh, yeah, they, this is going to be bad. I think also they all have responsibilities. Like one of them, you know, has got like a medical condition. The other one's got like a karate school that he's running or doing with mixed martial arts. The other one is a full time dad. Mm -hmm. And he's a dad. He's a bad dad. Like he's he's not good to his son. Yep. And I think all by the end of it, you know, their dedication to who they were in the past ended up lining up with what they had to be in the present. I think I, from a moral standpoint, I I love that about the film. It was sweet. This is a P thirteen film, but there were moments that feel very dangerous and mm -hmm. engaging, and you always want to see and feel that in a martial arts epic. Like if it's blood sport or if it's anything in between like you want to feel like the main characters are in danger and i felt that you know yeah. what i mean i agree so, but there was a lot but, of again a lot of great action uh, a lot of good comedy and the only thing i just wish is that more people saw this movie right right and it's, it's hard because the movie came out during the, was, it, was it during the pandemic or was it coming well it was no, see, okay, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. this film was shown at the Fantasia uh, International Film Festival August yeah. of 2020. Yeah. And and then what was it? That following month, uh, Wellgo USA Entertainment acquired the North American the rights distribution to rights to it. Right, right. And then the movie was only released on, it was released May 7th of this year in only select theaters and, of course, on video on demand. Right. And so there's most likely a lot of you guys have not seen it, but which we'll go ahead and round this out right now. It is officially releasing now on Netflix as of Friday, April, August the 6th, which you guys are seeing this today, August the 5th, it'll be available for everybody. So this may be something you guys, if you guys enjoy the Karate Kid, if you guys enjoy martial arts lore with a little bit of comedy, but at the same time, a little bit of heart, this may be the film for you. So definitely go and check it out on Netflix. But we are... In between both of us, uh, give, give you guys an opportunity for something. Um, so, uh, Eris, what are the rules? What, what should what is the phrase that everybody's got to say, or what should somebody say to be able to win this? Because I hadn't thought about that yet. <laughs> Ooh, kind of putting me on the spot now. <laughs> um, let me think. What what could we have somebody do? Hmm. I don't want to say something. I don't want to. I don't want to make this too easy. Uh, mm. Maybe we should make it something martial arts related. That's what I was, that's exactly what I was going for. Something martial arts related. I want is ooh, you know what? Then again, no, because people could easily Google that. I, I was gonna say, what was the very first three D uh, martial arts film to be made? Mm. I know that's, it. <laughs> that's that's actually a hard one. That's actually a hard one. It, okay, it's a hard one only to only to the uninitiated. All right, only to those that don't know. If you know, you know, you know what the first three D martial arts film was. 
True. And it was a and it was a really it was really a good one too. Mm. Okay. So all right, let's do this. Let's do two different questions then. So we'll mm -hmm. keep that question. Yeah. And the way we'll look at it is in the comment section. I don't know if I'm gonna project this live or if I'm gonna just have it. If we do it, if we do it live, we're gonna be in the comment section. You guys are gonna see it and we'll know who did it first. We'll know who got it first. Yeah. The second question is this. And uh ooh, oh okay. What is and everybody should really know this? What is one of Jet Lee's first American film big hits? One of the first American films that he did. He wasn't the main character, but he was in it, and he played a certain character that was pivotal to the two main characters' narrative. All I'm gonna say is this movie is a sequel to a franchise. And that's all. Everybody should know this question. Yeah, I know you know it. I know it. <laughs> I know that one too well. <laughs> so yeah, so there's your questions. And just in case you guys don't believe us, and I'm gonna show it right now. Got all the copies right here. So these can be yours. All you gotta do is just make sure you answer them as quickly as you can. We'll have these shipped out to you and you'll be set. And either way, if you are kind of doubting the movie, you kind of like, oh, their review is okay. Go and check it out on Netflix right now. If you enjoyed it, you can have your own personal copy of the film as you mentioned. The and, review numbers. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. And, well, I was gonna say it was actually, and the the, uh, the Blu-ray is actually pretty worth it, in my opinion. I mean, it's got behind the scenes material, deleted scenes, bloopers, and all that stuff. You know, typical stuff that you get in um, in action films. But you know how you know how rare it is to see a Blu-ray of an of a martial arts film where like where they don't add the behind the scenes deleted scenes. Right, right. No, that's true, bro. Like you know, it's, it's 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 not even like a joke anymore. Because it used to be that's one of the things you used to love is all the behind the scenes things. Like when the Matrix came out, it's like yeah, you, know, you get to see everything. When Star Wars Blu Ray mm -hmm. DVDs come out, you get to see everything. Now it's kind of like you get fluff most of the time. Yeah. yeah. Just so you guys know, let me see if I can pull it back a little bit. You get to kind of see, you get all the things, and you'll be able to enjoy it. And that's not something that will be on Netflix specifically. So if you do watch it on Netflix, you do enjoy it, or you have seen it, and you just want to own it, this would be your opportunity to be able to win it. We are, again, between Team JVS, we're giving two, and then on Three Black Geeks, we're giving two, and we will be monitoring it from this review and review number. Now, on top of that, it's free. Who doesn't like free? Right. Like everybody likes free. <laughs> um, what do I give this? I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I, I thought it was a really good time, bro. I, I don't the have movie? any faults with it, really. The movie is a solid eight for me. It's uh, it was good, and again, I just wish I just wish more people saw it. I just wish right. it had a. I just wish the movie had a bigger push than what it got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe this might be the opportunity, kind of like you know, Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai debuted it on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. And nobody right. know about it. Everybody well, heard knew. about it. No, they people heard, knew. but they didn't. They didn't know how good it was. No, it wasn't that. People just weren't trying to spend. They weren't trying to invest that uh, that YouTube red money. Nobody still has it. I don't. I don't think anybody ever will. But um. But yeah, this could be a launching point if it does good enough on this debut. It's I, actually no. I don't know. That might have been bad. That might have been a bad idea to release it this week because of Suicide Squad. Yep. So HBO Max and all I can say for that is uh, just hope for the best. Otherwise, uh, if, if this does catch on and becomes a cult hit and stuff, uh, I would like to see a series. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so, would you like to see a prequel series, or would you like to see a prequel? A prequel series would be like would definitely be good because you can tell a whole lot more of the story in a series as opposed to doing a movie, right? And I just want to see them younger, bro. Like yeah. they looked like there was a lot of things that went down that I'm really curious about, and kind of just taking the opposite approach to where they handled uh, Cobra Kai. Just going because me personally, I'd like to know. At what point was their stopping point? You know what I mean? Like right. when when was that moment that they just stopped? Yeah, completely. Because they hint at it, but they don't really explicitly show you mm -hmm. uh, in the film. But yeah. 
So that is our review for the Paper Tigers. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Make sure you go to the description bar below and make sure you follow. Check out all the podcasts, all the premieres for Three Black Geeks. You want to do a quick plug, uh, Eris? Oh, yeah. You can go ahead and uh, check us out on Three Black Geeks. Uh, we are on Spotify. We are on – oh, God. We <laughs> we stream on YouTube, Twitch. We're on Podomatic. We're on Leibson. We are literally everywhere. Just Google Three Black Geeks. And second, um, <clears throat> we also do – like we do a lot of our live shows – on Facebook, on YouTube, and of course on Twitch. Um, definitely follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, and yeah, we got a TikTok, if you can believe that. You guys have a TikTok? I what didn't happened? set I didn't what? set that up. I did not set that up. You can you can you can shift all of that over to uh, my co-host uh, D on of <laughs> Three Black Geeks. He's so the one I that made it. So I am intrigued by that. I want to see what their TikTok is because I have no idea what the heck they would be doing on TikTok. Um, we just started TikTok as well, you guys. So definitely go and check us out. We're doing a lot of our re trailer reactions. Uh, right now, the channel is in a very, really pivotal situation with uh, two copyright strikes. So definitely uh, show as much support as you can to our YouTube channel with reviews, discussion, anything you would like. We, we kind of go through everything in terms of press media. Um, but I really do appreciate you, Eris, for taking the time. This we did this really quick. <laughs> yeah, this was <laughs> <But> I, real quick. <laughs> I think we did it pretty precise, and we also tagged in our channels as well as did the giveaways. So I give us credit. I give us credit, really. So anyway, I hope you guys take care, and uh, we'll be back later, maybe for Raging Fire. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Peace, guys. Later.